Hi crafty friends, it's Audra Monk. Welcome to the Crafty Corner. Today we are going to make the cutest little beach scene with our waterfront stamp set. Great deal, awesome things. Um, I've made a lot of mountain scenes and today we're going to make um, a beach scene. Okay, so you need, uh, let me check, four colors, wild wasabi, pool party, crumb cake, and so saffron. Mm, do I want so saffron? Hold on. Yeah, I'm gonna go so saffron. And then you need two two of your Stampin' Right markers. You need Clips of Coral and Bermuda Bay, or two other colors that you like for your little house. Uh, okay. And then all you need is some regular Whisper White cardstock. So we're gonna use a piece about three and a half by three and a half because we will die cut this out with our. Ugh, in case you haven't noticed, I love these stitched uh, framelits. I use them like on everything. Um, so we're going to cut it out, but you could also just do a circle or a punch. Um, okay, so let's get started. We need our water stamp, our tree tops, our tree trunks, our little house, our sun, and our shoreline. Okay, and that's where we're going to start is our shoreline. So we are going to take... You know what? It's not crumb cake. Ha ha! It's Sahara sand! Yes, and I do want the so saffron. So it's a very soft, very pretty with a little bit of bright in there. So it makes it easy. Sahara sand, your stamping sand. So on your paper, you're going to ink up your sand and just stamp that all the way across. And I just, you know what? I stamped that kind of high. Let's take a look. But I am okay with that because I have room. All right, good to know. So if I messed up, I would flip it over and stamp again. Oh, and let's double check. Is that, and that strip is enough. Okay, so we stamped some sand. And now let's stamp the water. Does anybody else love the beach? I love the beach. Okay, now my beach isn't usually with palm trees and beach huts. I'm an East Coast girl, so we don't have those things. Well, I'm a middle, mid-East Coast girl. So let me get some water on here. So I like to go to Lewis, Delaware, Rehoboth. Um, sometimes we go further south. You know what? I stamped it off, didn't I? Didn't I? But that's okay. I like it. All right. I like to, so anyway, we go to the Outer Banks, things like that. And there are not a lot of palm trees there. You have to go further south, get to the Carolinas to get palm trees or really get to Florida. Okay. So next, we need, I'm gonna go beach hut first, even though I just opened that. Okay, so my little beach hut. I'm gonna use the brush tip on my Stampin' Right marker, and I'm gonna color. This is how you get the two colors. You could also mask, but for this, this is just quicker and easier. I'm coloring my little beach hut in, and I'm gonna try not to color that roof. You could, of course, just stamp this in one color, and that would totally be fine, but I thought this gave it a little extra touch. And now I'm gonna do the little roof. Because I was thinking like a Caribbean beach or a tropical beach here. Okay, so I've got that. And then you're going to huff on it. It means you're just going to breathe on it. So hold on. <sighs> Good, I'm going to germ it all up. And then I'm going to stamp my little hut right here in the sand. Oh, how cute. Okay, so now my hut needs some trees. Which are also in Sahara sand. And they're just going to be a little bit over. And I want to make sure my trunks hit the sand. Awesome. Okay, next up, you need tree brand, tree, palm fronds, palm fronds. Look at that. I'm being all official. Some wild wasabi for some palm fronds. And now I am going to, so hopefully, okay, you won't see my head, but I'm going to look above. You want to get right over it with your eyes. Look at that. How cute. Get those on perfectly. And last up, we need a sun. And I'm going to stamp that sun right there. Kind of reminded me of the South Carolina um, flag. Okay, so let's set that aside for one moment. And that's all we're going to do. We are just stamping it. No fancy stuff. All right, next, you're going to take your card base. And you, well, I'm just going to take this out. I'm going to put it under. Okay, so we have two things on here. We are going to, I forgot to tell you, you need, um, so you could take one of those other things off a block if you don't have a ton of blocks. You need the, the little dots, little speckles. And I did the speckles all across the bottom. And I think that's good. And one thing I do, if I know I'm going to do a circle or something, then I, I test it out. 
Do, is that enough speckles for me? You know what? I think I want one more. There. I think I like that. Okay. So speckles. And then, um, happy birthday. I think this comes from the, ooh, we need a clip of coral. I think it comes from Picture Perfect, Picture Perfect stamp set. Um, it's, it comes from something in the occasions. And it's a cute little happy birthday. And I'm going to stamp this down in the bottom corner. There we go. Isn't that cute? That just looks like a party all by itself, like a beach party. Okay, so let me close my ink, and then we will die cut, and we'll put this together, and we'll be done. It's actually a pretty quick, easy card. This one would be good if you were making multiples. It would be a good one for that, um, except for the die cutting, but it's pretty easy. Okay, so I'm going to bring in my big shot. And remember, it's really close to the, <laughs> really close. Okay, so you need your Big Shot platform, your thin die adapter, and then you need a plate. And don't cut on this. Look what happens. That happens in classes sometimes. I don't think I've ever done it myself. Even though I write, I need to rewrite on there. Don't cut here. Okay, so then you're going to cut two things. Your, surf, your beach scene and a piece of pool party. So the pool party is going to use a scalloped edge framelit. And my beach scene... It's going to use this and you do want to make sure don't use the outer edge you got to get that circle in there okay and then I'm gonna put a little piece of washi tape on this one because I want that to stay where it needs to stay you could also use your magnetic plate and that would work good too okay top goes on just one crank through the camera's probably gonna shake all over the place there we go take that off move this out of the way all right, let's see how bad I messed everything up. Okay, we're good. I'm going to carefully punch that out. All right, so a little snail or fast fuse. Can you see that? There we go. Okay, put that on the blue. Now the scallops are just a little bit out, so sometimes it's tricky to get it lined up. Okay. Next, bring your card front back in, and, okay, so dimensionals go on the back of this guy, and when it's a circle, I tend to do three, kind of like a triangle shape, and sometimes I'll put one in the middle. Okay, next, you need a little piece of ribbon. This is the ribbon from Celebration. Uh, it's free. You get three rolls. Uh, I think there's gray and maybe uh, Bermuda Bay and this Calypso Coral. I like it. It's a little bit sparkly. We have this sparkly ribbon in black and uh, blue and green, I think. And you're just going to fold it in half, and it is about four inches. Okay, so I'm going to fold it in half and kind of make that little tail. Check on where my card is going, and I'm going to put a little snail here to hold this down. Okay, so my ribbon is down. Peel off my dimensional bags. Okay, I'm going to have such a big mess. All right, and then I'm going to put it way to the edge and up so I can see my water. There we go. And then this goes on my Calypso Coral card base. Or you could do the um, pool party card base. You could do the Sahara Sand. I always like to use a color that I use in the in the project. And I'm going to put that on, knowing that I pretty much always put it on crooked. Oh, that's not bad. And there we go. We have a nice little Caribbean beach scene. Thank you so much for stopping by. Make some cards. Stay crafty. Let me know if you need help. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a heart. Tell me that you watched. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you. Bye.